Cool guys, so we've actually got it in the screen saver, so I'll actually press the cord now. Three, two, one, the cord in the screen. So I ended up finding a one that I came across years and years ago. I loved it and it's just gone. So, history. Okay, it's not there. One sec, guys. So this is a review on Veet hair removal cream. Uh, this one's an old one, long as well, like the other one, but I mean, it makes it better. It shows that the guy has, um, so this is an Amazon review from, when was this? Uh, it doesn't tell you, it's a very long time ago. So, <laughs> the title, Do Not Put on Knob and Bollocks. After having been told my danglies look like an elderly Rastafarian, I decided to take the plunge and buy some of this, as previously shaving attempts had only been mildly successful, and I nearly put my back out trying to reach the more difficult bits. Being a bit of a romantic, eh? I thought I would uh, do the deed on the missus' birthday as a bit of a treat treat. I ordered it well in advance, organized guy, and working in the North Sea, I considered myself a bit above some of the characters writing the previous reviews and wrote them off as soft office types. <laughs> All my fellow sufferers, how wrong I was. <laughs> I waited until the other half was tucked up in bed and after giving some vague hints about special surprise I went downstairs to the bathroom. Here's where we get started. Initially all went well and I applied the gel and stood waiting for something to happen. It didn't have, oh, I didn't have long to wait. At first there was a, a gentle warmth which in a matter of seconds was replaced by an intense burning and a feeling I can only describe as like being given a barbed wire wedgie ooh, by two people intent on hitting the ceiling with my head. God, that's pretty, yeah, explain that. Religion hadn't featured much in my life until that night. Oh, that's brilliant. But I suddenly became willing to convert to any religion to stop the violent burning around the turd tunnel and what seemed like the destruction of meat and two veg. <laughs> Struggling not to bite through my bottom lip, I tried to wash the gel off in the sink and only succeeded in blocking the plug hole with a mat of hair. Oh. <laughs> through the haze of tears, I struggled out of the bathroom. I can see it. Into the hallway, the kitchen by this time, walking was not really possible. <laughs> and I crawled the final yard to the fridge in the hope of some form of cold relief. I yanked the freezer door out, found a tub of ice cream, tore the lid off <laughs> and positioned it under me. The relief was fantastic, but only temporary as it melted fairly quickly and the fiery stabbing soon returned. <laughs> Due to the shape of the ice cream tub, I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment and I groomed around the drawer for some, and something else as I was sure my vision was, go, was going to fail fairly soon. Brilliant. I grabbed a bag of what later I found was frozen sprouts <laughs> and tore it open trying to be as quiet, uh, quiet as I did. So I tried to be quiet as I did. So I took a handful of them and tried in vain to clenched some between my cheeks and my ass. This was not doing the trick as some of the gel had found its way up the chimney. <laughs> oh, the chutney channel. Oh, so that, no, we just call it a chimney. Um, and then it felt like space shuttle. A, the space shuttle was running its engines behind me. It's so graphic. This was probably, and hopefully, the only time in my life I was going to wish that there was a gay snowman in the kitchen which, <laughs> which should give you some idea of the depths 
I was willing to sink into order to ease this pain. <laughs> you might let my imagination go wild, cheers bro. The only solution my pain crazed mind could come up with is gently ease. One of the sprouts where no veg has gone before, unfortunately. Alerted by strange grunts coming from the kitchen, the other half chose that moment to come and investigate. <laughs> and it was, oh, <laughs> and was greeted by the sight of me, arse in the air, strawberry ice cream dripping from my bell, bell end, pushing a sprout up my ass while muttering, oh, that feels good. <laughs> Understandably, this was a shock to her. <laughs> she let out a scream. Oh! <laughs> and as I heard, I hadn't heard her come down, and it, well, hadn't heard her come, and it caused an involuntary spasm. Oh, buddy, that shook, oh, that shock in my, oh, yeah, it's an involuntary spasm of shock in myself which resulted the sprout being ejected at quite some speed at her direction. I can understand that having a sprout farted against your leg at 11 at night in the kitchen probably wasn't the special surprise she was expecting and having to cream and having to explain to the kids the next day what the strange hollow the next day what the strange hollow in the ice cream was didn't improve my status. So to sum it up, Veet removes hair, dignity and self-respect. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Honestly, these, this is biblical. This guy is taking a, a lot of time to write this down there. I'll try, I'll try and share it with you. If it's uh, not that funny, I'll just send it over. But, um, drama face. <laughs> Let's do this. It is by Singrenor, 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 uh, 1989. All right, uh, I need to move this down. There was a time where I liked YouTube, but now I absolutely hate it. Well, my headline says it all. There was a truly a time where I liked YouTube that was many years ago. I don't think I'll even complain about the ads like most people on here, like the users come on here, because that's what ad block software is created for, so I got no problem with that. The problem I have with YouTube is the immense amount of paid YouTube people that always have their ugly face in front of the camera. May it be, be in video games, games, some guys or girls in the stupid bedroom talking nonsense or even pilots, mostly female from what I saw. Guys and girls, what the hell do you all need this goddamn attention for? Have you got some problems or something? Just because a few people are out there making money, uploading any kind of crap on YouTube, receiving payouts from sponsors who obviously do that on purpose, with something greedy on their mind. There is no need that I want to see your goddamn face all the time or hear your stupid voice commenting the stupid stuff you do. And like in Let's Play videos, uh, we're commenting everything although I have eyes and I am not blind so I do not need any comments because I can see what's going on Jesus Christ these people almost have a bad ego if they need the attention so much that the entire world can see their ugliness and arrogance it almost makes me to punch into my screen <laughs> Good luck to find the documentaries on YouTube either, because either at the start, right in the middle, or right at the end, the video you cannot even block, they suddenly spam you with an ant like telling you something like, subscribe, subscribe, give me money, give me attention, give me that, give me this. Really annoying. 
<laughs> Same with the videos that always include some kind of stupid symbol in the uploader of one of the corners of the screen, which kills my joy to watch the video entirely, because half of the screen is blocked by these stupid symbols. But very often at the end of a good fucking documentary during the last half minute, pictures of the other videos are spamming right inside the video, blocking 75% of the actual video, and that is still running. And you can't even block that. It just sucks. And don't get me started on documentary videos where you think that it must be good stuff considering how long they are, but no! It is just the exact same video two times put into one just to receive more clicks. And why the hell so many people upload the same stuff that is already on YouTube anyway? What is this? A competition of science? Uh, yeah, kind of. I was a YouTube member since 2006, so believe me. I know what I'm talking about, and it truly was not that crazy or bad, very likely due to the fact that Google didn't own YouTube back then. Yeah, they did. <laughs> but now as everyone has internet access today and tries to make money with a massive amount of clicks or by just uploading his or her stupid face nobody wants to see, the, the quality of the internet and YouTube videos crashed rapidly down to zero. Yes, zero. Goodbye, YouTube. I have had enough of that crap website you now represent. Picnic Channel.